hello again, it's Amy Taylor with Just a Little Ink. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! out of Littleton, Colorado. Um, I've been a demonstrator now for over 18 years, um, and I just enjoy sharing the things that I learn and the things that I love with others. Today I'd like to share with you a very simple card layout. It is a sketch that I actually got from Freshly Made Sketches. This is number 464. I have all of the links on my blog, justalittleink.com, um, and you can get all of the measurements that I'm make using and all of the supplies um, available on my blog, and you can order them if you don't have a demonstrator already um, through my Stampin' Up! store, justalittleink.stampinup.net. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Anytime that I am struggling to come up with um, anything creative, I tend to go to card layouts. And the Freshly Made Sketches site has a lot of different um, designers that post different card sketches um, and give you the chance to then create. I missed the cutoff for their... Um, they do a drawing um, and a kind of a, a uh, specials kind of deal. Um, but that no matter, you can go back um, a number of years even and get different ideas. And sometimes different ones will spark your creativity. And this is the one that I came up. So with all of that, I'm going to show you how I did that. So I'm using the In the Pines stamp set. It is available as a bundle. Um, and right now, um, starting today and going through the beginning of January, January the 4th, or while supplies last, you can purchase the stamp set, the dies, or the bundle. Um, they are on the um, end of your sale from Stampin' Up! I'm also using the Stitched Shapes dies, and I'm going to use our Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. To make the card, you need, I've got some extra pieces here. You need a half a sheet of cardstock, cut five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. You also need two pieces of Whisper White. These are cut at five by three and three quarters inch. You also need some scraps in order to cut a couple of the trees from the cardstock. This one's from Whisper White. This is my paper that I've cut. This is the, let me tell you in a second, I get down onto my list. Well, maybe. She'll love it how that works. It is the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. And this particular pattern is one that coordinates with the Misty Moonlight. There are other coordinating um, colors. Um, both sides of these work with Misty Moonlight. And I also need a scrap piece of Misty Moonlight to cut another tree. Also going to use the um, clear adhesive backed um, not clear, the adhesive backed snowflakes. These are also on the retired list um, and available at a discount. So I'm going to pull up my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Make sure I get it into the machine. The, uh, I love this new machine. It folds up nice and compact and then the ends pop out when you need to use it. It comes with um, the regular plate and the extender plate, and it gives you the instructions of what plates you need. I'm only going to show you how to make, or how to cut, excuse me, the one tree. So I'm gonna put my plate on the bottom. I'm gonna put my cardstock. I'm going to grab my die. And for this one, I am using this smaller um, detailed tree. And I'm going to kind of angle it to get most efficient use of my cardstock. And then I need to make my sandwich with one more clear plate. 
and the number three. So I've got my one, my two, and my three. And I'm gonna roll it through. Nice and smooth operations. Comes out on the other end and pull my plates off. When I pull this off, you'll see that it is cut my, um, my tree. So I'm gonna pull this machine out of the way. We'll fold it up, set it out of the way. So I've got this tree as well. And I've got one little piece of stuff in here. So I'm gonna show you how fast. I am always, especially at this point in time, looking for quick Christmas cards, not ones that take a lengthy amount of time. So I've already pre-scored, so I'm gonna fold in half. I'm gonna use my bone folder. Gives me a nice crisp seam. And then I'm going to attach one of my pieces. Before I do, I want to stamp my um, thinking of you. So I'm going to, what I find is that it's better to use, to put this piece down first. I'm going to kind of wiggle it around. I'm going to use some of my stamp and seal. So I'm going to come in. I'm following the sketch pretty close and more literal. I tend to be a much more literal stamper. Okay, and so then I can take, I'm going to use the thinking of you. You could use the season's greeting image. Um, this gives me some options as to when I use it. The sketch had suggested a greeting along this lower edge. And so I'm going to stamp with my misty moonlight. So I've got here, I'm going to push that out of the way. So then I'm going to go ahead and attach my piece of whisper white. Center it on the front of my card base. So for my inside, that's what this piece is. And I just cut two of the very same side. I am going to use the outline image of the trees and I'm again going to stamp them in misty moonlight. And I'm just going to put some down on this end and I'm not going to put a greeting on the inside. If I choose to use this for a Christmas stamp, uh, card, then I can put a Christmas greeting on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and stick some adhesive on the back using, again, our stamp and seal. Open it up, stick it on the inside. And I just find that it's easier to make both the inside and the outside if I'm doing something similar, the same size. So I'm using, again, the same five by three and three quarter inches on the inside. So I'm going to shut my card closed. I'm going to take and use some of our multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just going to dab as I go so well, actually before I do that I'm almost forgetting something I'm going to use some Wink Stella. Wink Stella is a glittery clear amount of liquid and I find it's just it gives a nice shimmer onto my paper. You could use shimmer white or shimmer cardstock. It's not quite white, which is the biggest reason I want to just do this. And this um, Wink Stella dries really fast. So then I can move this aside. Now I can put just some dabs of glue because I want this to go down flat. And so if I'm not squeezing too hard, I can just use some glue and I find it's a lot faster. I could use some of our adhesive sheets that are meant to go through the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. That would be another way to put adhesive on the back. 
So then I'm going to bring it in here. It's going to overlap just a little bit. Bring it down. It's so much prettier in person. Then I'm going to do the same thing with my Misty Moonlight tree. I'm going to come in before I put it down. And I can adjust by squeezing the barrel on the, mist, on the uh, Wink of Stella. But it just gives a nice shimmer over the entire piece. On this one, what I'm going to use is some of our mini Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to go along these edges because I need little tiny strips. So I'm going to just use my paper snips and I'm going to align some. You'll see them when I lift up my hands. Yeah, I need about three or four of these, what I found. I want them small enough that they hide when I put down my tree. I need one more. And I'm not going to worry the fact that um, I haven't put any around the edges. And I'm going to pull off the backing sheet. Try to get all of this aligned. Little tiny pieces of paper. Okay, now I can move this around. So I've got my shimmery piece of misty moonlight, my tree that I can then stick down. Adjust my back there a little bit. Come overlap him just a little. And it pops it up just a little bit. And then the final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my take a pick tool and those adhesive backed snowflakes. And I'm just going to place a few of them on my card. So I like threes. Again, that's something you're going to know as you watch my videos. And I'm going to stick one more up here next to the trees. You could do more. You want to use odd numbers. You don't want to use even numbers. But just like that, and fairly quickly, you have made a very simple card. Could be a Christmas card, could be a thank you card. This one could be, I'm just thinking of you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it if you would click the bell and subscribe, then you won't miss any of the videos that I do. I do at least two a week. Um, have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.